Okay, so in this video I will do a tutorial on how to add the book cover automatically when you're reading in co-reader on your Android e-reader. On normal Kobo e-readers that runs co-reader, they automatically show the cover of the book you are reading. It works great, you don't need to do anything, it works automatically, but on Android devices, it's not as easy, unfortunately, but uh, especially Unix books devices has support for automatic covers from co-reader in a way. And I will show you in this video on how to do that. So let's start by open up this device. Here I'm reading a book in co-reader. So if we now go uh, let's start from the library. We have the library here. Uh, if you want to do this setting, you need to be in a book first. So open a book that you read. Uh, I open that same book again, like this. Now, from the top up here, click at the top so you get to the menu. Here we have a menu with different settings, a lot of settings in CoReader. I love CoReader for that. But in this video, we should only focus on covers. So go into the gear, like so. We have screen, click on screen, like so. Here we have a setting, cover image. If we go to cover image, you see here, set image path. So if I click the set image path here, you see a specific what you should do. You can either choose an existing file, choose a file, or specify a new file. First choose a folder, then add the name of the new file. Or you can delete the path. So if we click OK here, we should browse for a specific uh, image to use as a cover. And I have already some a few images, images in the pictures folder as you see here and uh, you need to have the name of the image called like this screen saver image and you should also have a fallback image. A fallback image is when uh, co-reader doesn't find a cover it will use the fallback image. So here I have a screensaver image dot png. You should beforehand put any image there and you should name it screensaver image dot png. So now, if you have that now, it doesn't need to be the cover of the book you're reading at the moment. It could be any image as I said. But here I have the same image of the book because I have already done this. So if I now long press on, <laughs> sorry, uh, long press on that image like so, now I can choose this file as the cover image in the screensaver app on the Unix books. So I choose that like so. So now, I have set that as the cover image and you should also have save cover image. You could choose size, background and format here. Fit screen and black background, I have that. You can also have fit to screen white background if you want. We can do that because I want to see, show you that it works like so. Then it will fit the cover of the book and have white around it. And you can also have a file format derived from file name and you can choose which formats and so on but i that is what you should do here aspect ratio stretch threshold off because i don't want to stretch the image and set fallback path that is also important so if i click on set fallback path. Uh, you can see which I have set. We can choose a new one if we want by clicking there. Okay. 
Now I sh should choose the other image I have prepared for it. Fallback image is the name for it. I long press on it and click choose. So now I have set the fallback path to and I have the set image path. And you should also turn on fallback image if you prefer to use an image when a co-reader doesn't find any. And cache settings, you can see my cache settings here. I have a maximum number of cached covers, 36. That is how many books I want to have cached covers for. Maximum size of cache cover, 24 megabyte. Cover cache folder, you can choose a specific folder for that, but I have uh, the co-reader default here. So now you have set everything you should set. So if we go back to the book now, and if I click power off here, you see that I have the screensaver image that I have called it. And you see now I have white background around it. I thought the black was even better, but I would show you that it works. So now if we go back into co-reader, and then we go back to my library and choose another book. Let's choose the creator like this. And we will sync to the latest position of the book like this. Now it should have been saved a new cover image if everything has worked as it should. So now when I click the power button, you should have the cover for this book the creator. So you see it automatically shifts to another cover image when you have uh, the power off like this uh, automatically from co-reader. It works great on the Unix books devices. This is a Unix books Palma. It works great. So I will go into Unix books Palma again and change the setting to black around the cover because I thought that was more beautiful. So go to screen, we go into cover image and we set background and format again and I choose to have a black background. Fit to screen and black background because I thought that was nicer. So now it should be black around it, as you see there. Much nicer, I think. So that is how easy it is to set a cover image on your device. And before I end showing this on the Unix Books Palma, I will show you one more thing. And that is if we go out of the Unix Books Palma co-reader software, uh, we have co-reader down there. I have installed it and I have a video on my channel to show you how you can install co-reader on an Android based e-reader. So go check that out. But now I will show you where the images, images should be put, in which folder and so on. So I click on the file manager on this device and we go up to see all the folders like this. Here we have all the folders. We go into co-reader and here we have different folders and the cache for everything is here and that is should it, as it should be. So you don't need to do anything here. Cover image cache is all the images that is cached. You should not do anything here, but if we go out again from the co-reader folder, you also see a folder called pictures down there, as you see. There is where the screensaver image and the fallback image should be placed. So the first thing you should do is put two images here, any images. Uh, I prefer PNG, so try to find some PNGs. Uh, then the one of them should be called screensaverimage.png, as I said, and one fallbackimage.png. These two images should be in the pictures folder on your Unix books device. When you have done that, you go into co-reader and do what I show you. Uh, 
So now if I will change to the book I'm reading at the moment, we go down here and change to that. Now if I click power off, we should see that cover instead. As you see here, totally automatically works great. So now we have automatic covers when running co-reader on a Kobo that is automatic. You don't need to do anything on a Kobo device running co-reader. And we now also have it on the Unix Box Palma totally automatically. So that worked great. Now we have another air reader, a color air reader, Bigme B751C. And unfortunately on a Bigme it doesn't work automatically. I haven't seen any way to do that unfortunately. So I have... Uh, I need to do something manually here, unfortunately. So if we go up in uh, the settings here, we go into the screen, we go into the cover image setting. As you see here, I have the exact same settings here, but it doesn't work, unfortunately. And I don't know why, but if I click on the set image path here, we should choose the, uh, that, the same file I showed you before. Uh, we have that down here, as you see, screen saver image. If I long press on that and click choose, now we have set that image. If you now close this, you see the same image I have chosen. Works great so far, but unfortunately it doesn't switch. So if I go now to the library, and choose uh, the creator again, this book, and sync from my Unix books, like so. Now it should have stored that image in the same way as before, but it doesn't work. Because now, if you see here, it hasn't changed the image, unfortunately. <laughs> so here I need to do something. Uh, manually every time and that's annoying but uh, it takes a while for to you for reading a book so uh, hopefully it doesn't bother too much but if I go into the file manager app here uh, it's called local storage here we can go into all the different folders and we see the picture folder somewhere there we have the pictures folder here we have the same as you see here the screen saver image but the screen saver image looks like this yes so that's great it's the same image as we should have so every time you switch to a new book you need to go into this folder and open that image uh, like, like so, for example, the creator now, <laughs> uh, the screensaver image now is the creator because that was uh, the book I opened last. So now if you have that book open, you should click on these three and set the standby picture, like so. So now if we go back to this and we click on the power button, you see that image as the cover. And even if we have in co-reader now, we have the book creator open and we have the same image now as you see. So if we go now to the library and switch to the this book now if i click on the power button it still is the creator image unfortunately as you see here so every time i need to go out here and go into file manager app we go into the folder we go to the pictures folder and we open up the screensaver image 
as you see here it's still the creator we go back we open the screensaver image and we have that image instead so now if we close you see it's the same the creator still so that doesn't work so you need to click on these three buttons every time and set the standby picture to that book you're reading unfortunately but uh, i have done that so many many times on this big me device now the big me a reader ebook reader so i have used to it so now i have just set that book i'm reading at the moment and when i am in that book like this now i have this the right cover every time i close this up so that is a bit annoying you can't get it to be automatically shifting the image on the big me you need to do something manually unfortunately but on the unix books devices unix books palma in this case it works great totally automatically when running co-reader so no matter if you use uh, a Kobo device or if you use Android based e-readers, you can actually have the cover when what you're reading at the moment as your screensaver. So on the Unix Books devices, it works automatically. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you like my channel and please subscribe to it because I need more subscribers. Okay, bye.